Today I'm going to show you guys how to remove the uh, rear uh, suspension for the CRX. So what we need is a two size 14 one here and one on the other side. So it's going to be both ends. And then we have to loosen up the mug nuts on both sides. And we'll go from there. Okay, tools needed, 14 millimeter deep socket, ratchet, and possibly an extension. Here we go. Okay, so I got the wheel out, and as you can see, this one is hanging. We just have to take out one 14 millimeter bolt and possibly this one too. Not sure yet, but let's see. Uh, I'm gonna replace this shock and I'm gonna reuse this. I believe this is ground control until I find a replacement. I'm still gonna use this. I'm gonna replace the top hat with the one I got from the junkyard before. So. So I got two bolts out, one here, on the size 14. Okay, so I have to loosen this one out a little bit. I don't think I'm gonna pick it out completely. Let's see. There you go, got it out. Okay, so this is the old shock here. You got this bottom eye rubber thing. It's identical to Type R. So it has this three inch extended uh, top hot. I'm gonna replace that with the one I got from the junkyard. Alright, so let's we'll see if this is identical to the one we Okay. Got a new bushing. Let's see. Oh, there it is. Like we have a match. Okay, so in order to this, he did an open wrench 14, uh, possibly a uh, crescent wrench or adjustable wrench will hold this to prevent it from spinning. Did nope. you have uh, an Allen wrench? So I have to be using this for KYB. Okay, just a reminder, so the only reason you don't need a spring compressor, because this is lowered, but if you have a stock, you need a spring compressor. So I got, I got the spring out. So I'm going to reuse this uh, until I get a replacement. Probably just clean it a little bit. So what comes out from this old shock is this. And the uh, old rain goes over the new, the new one. Okay, so everything gets transferred to the old one. Okay, so I found a replacement old rain. See if this fits. I got some spare one in my toolbox. So let's see. Hopefully this fits. Let me take this one out. If we could take it out. Not. Put it over. Okay, so this is the uh, junkyard score I got from last month. So I'm gonna replace the, the three inch to like one and a half or two. 
And now, you need an Allen wrench for this. So make sure you install the proper, they gave you a new bushing. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take this one out. I'm gonna put this new one in there together with the nuts and bolts. So I got it installed, a uh, new rubber bushing, new knot and a washer. So now it's ready to put it back. Okay, so putting back the suspension, you're gonna encounter this. So what you need to do is get another jack and just lift it up, line it up and just put the bolt in there. Okay, there you have it. I got it installed. Thanks for watching.